when you were in WWE, were there ever any talk of a union getting started? See, that's a good question because while I was there, that was like the four letter word that you never don't said. say it. Yeah, they were like, don't talk about your contract and don't talk about anything having to do with a union. Otherwise, you'll get blacklisted uh, uh, by and, the and, upper ups. And, and it would have happened. Oh, yeah. I, I saw yeah. it happen. Someone, to who? someone I can't remember exactly, but like they were complaining about something and they were talking about how we should all get together and get some power and like it's not that it's not that company. Yeah, know. I've argued I've argued actually argued with people. They said well, they need a union. They I said, yeah, they may need a union. They may, but this union would only be good there. Mm -hmm. I don't know where else they're going to go because maybe some of these guys, when they finish there, they go on the independence. You know, the independents are not going to join the union. They can't compete and they can't make any money if they're paying union dues and all this. They can't pay that. Yeah. So you would just have one company under a union banner that's good there and isn't good nowhere else. Yeah. I mean, you still got ways you can go about things but and that's and why like, most guys do their business to themselves and don't care about the next guy yeah yeah and like the biggest thing with those wwe contracts are is they can cancel them anytime anytime they, and they've proven that they will so what does it all really mean if you can't rely on it um, well the the old contracts were all for wwe or wwl right it benefited Every the, would the, tell you that it, it benefited the performers zero, basically. Zero. You sign your you know, life away. Of, yeah. One of the early contracts that I signed back in the 90s, you either signed it or you didn't go to work, period. But if you read that, I should pull that contract out and see what it exactly said. But you know how much you were guaranteed per year? How much? $1,500. <laughs> And after that, they had per, they had fulfilled their monetary duties, and they can actually block you from working an independent show or block you from doing anything else while at the same time starving you. Yeah, and that's basically what it was. Yeah. And, and you either sign it or you don't. And that proves the point. You know, back then, and even when I was there with you, we didn't have any options. There was only one game in town. And, uh, you know, now we have AEW. And so hopefully the competition uh, makes everything better for the performers. And I think you will see that uh, with with contracts because you have more options. And even overseas seems like they're paying a little bit better now, mm -hmm. too.